Oh, welcome back, Matt. What a Tuesday it's been. Now, next up, you're in for a treat. Local singer Michaela Kleinsmith uh, made global headlines when she was announced the winner on My Kind of Country, which is an international singing competition. And recently, she received a life-changing deal with Apple to ensure her music gets shared internationally, putting not only herself but South Africa on the map. From dreams and determination to signing deals, we are lucky enough to have her joining us in studio. The, the, the amazing Michaela, welcome <laughs> to our studio. Give her a round of applause, hey. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I mean, come Thank on. Thank you for having me. How are you me? feeling? I'm ecstatic, excited, <laughs> shocked, <laughs> all the emotions. Listen, take us back to that moment. What was it like when, when you heard, like, oh, Michaela is the winner? Dude, <laughs> Dude. I, 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 it's very surreal just thinking about it because I was in total shock. Like I even mouthed the word like, no. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't believe, I could not believe that I won. I, 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 I just felt really proud in that moment, you know, because yeah. I worked so hard for so many years, for but, a long time. But that's what it takes. I mean, in this industry, in yeah. music, I mean, hard work, determination, that's yeah. the name of the game. I mean, is this something that you've envisioned for yourself to win on a platform, international-like platform like this? In Nashville, Tennessee. Hey, <laughs> I don't know about Nashville, Tennessee, but I've definitely envisioned this for my life. I feel like I kind of manifested it yeah. from a really young age. And oh, awesome. I'm just like really lucky to have been a part of such a such an amazing project, yeah. you know, because they were really artist focused and it didn't really feel like a competition. So yeah. yeah. Look, at the end of the day, when it comes to music, yeah. you know, it, it, it speaks to people. It doesn't matter their language, it doesn't matter where they come from, mm -hmm. where they live, their race, it doesn't matter. It transcends all of that. Yeah. Um, how did your music and your journey help you to unlock your 100%? I, you know, I think that music has always been my, my safe space mm. for a very long time since I was really, really young. And I think because that was my safe space, I always just enjoyed being there and enjoyed doing music and enjoyed performing and writing and doing all things music. Yeah. So I think that that contributed to me constantly practicing and perfecting the craft and stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah. And I love the fact that you are in, in, in an industry that you're able to live out your passion. Yeah. And, and I think that is very special because we're all searching for that one thing that mm. we love doing. You know, yes, we are willing to work hard. And yes, it's not always moonshine and roses. But you love but, it. But you love it. Yeah. And i gotta, I got to say, I mean, you know, with your performance, you didn't only have the, cra the crowd in <laughs> almost tears, but celebrities. Yeah. Like Reese <laughs> Witherspoon. Ah. Have a look at this. Lay me down on bed of roses Sink me in the river I don't send me away With the words of a love oh song Oh my god, I'm crying Oh, 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 oh Gray, but she buries her baby A sharp knife of a short life Yes Oh, well Wow. Oh, man. Um, seriously, yeah. are, you, are you from here? Yeah, I am. <laughs> Born in Brit. What an incredible platform. And yeah. man, that is, that is insane. I mean, yeah. talk about putting South Africa on map. How was that moment for you? Oh, man, it, it was, I, I can't even describe the feelings because I, I felt all the emotions. I'm still feeling all the emotions. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's, really, it's really cool to see all the hard work finally pay off. You know? Yeah, look, yeah. we spoke about the hard work and, you know, the yards that you've put in up until this yeah. point. But getting to that particular point, sitting in front of <laughs> all those esteemed judges, Reese Witherspoon, I mean, come on. Yeah. And just hearing you say, like, oh, my goodness, I'm going to cry. <laughs> yeah. Um, what did winning that... 
mean to you for your career and, and, and your trajectory going forward? Yeah, I, I, winning definitely changed my life. I, can, I already see the change happening and it's insane to witness. Like, I don't think, I don't think you actually, because you hear these stories everywhere, like you hear people, people's lives change overnight, and, yeah. but you never actually think that it, yeah, that's, what, that's what's to gonna me. happen to me. It's like winning the lottery. <laughs> 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 you know, like you don't actually think it's gonna happen to you because my career has been like a slow burn for so long and now all of a sudden it's just immediate. But don't you find that maybe that is the way to approach it? You yeah. know, it's not always about that quick rise yeah. to wherever you want to get. It's that building of the foundation. Yeah, for me, for me, that was the best way for me, definitely, because I don't think if this if this opportunity came earlier, I don't think I would have been ready. Yeah, but that's what? that's exactly it. Yeah. When you were there, you were ready. I was ready. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't sure if I was, but I was. Were you nervous? <laughs> ready. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time, <laughs> the entire time, I was I was shaking. I even begged the producers to put me on first. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> For every performance, I don't psych myself. I think everyone is so good. No, let me just let me just get it yeah, out of the way. Yeah, let me just get it over and down with. <laughs> oh man, you know what? We couldn't be more proud of Thank you. you. Congratulations so and. Uh, you know, I, I, I speak on behalf of everyone that, I, that we can't wait oh. to see where you're going to go next and what you're going to be doing. I mean, with a voice <laughs> like that, it is no wonder that she stole the show completely. But stay right here, Mzanzi, because, you, because you're in for a, a, a true treat. Michaela will be treating us to a performance, so stay tuned. You do not want to miss this one. If you've seen that, we're going to do it live. Now, remember to also keep an eye out on Crush's social media pages for more information on uh, the Unlock your 100% with Crush TV show that you can watch tomorrow on, uh, that's Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. with a repeat show every Sunday at 8 p.m. only on SABC2. Unlock your 100% this Wednesday evening at 7.30 as we catch up with some of the incredible people we met along our journey, including aspiring baker Kahiso Moja. Doctor turned florist, Tennis Marais, and Jurgen McEwen, who overcame his fear of heights and many more. Catch the season finale of Unlock Your 100% Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. Repeat Sunday night at 8, only on SAPC2.